everything that has covered your glory so that you are covered nothing about you can be seen makadosh kadia embrekete seketa by the power that raised christ from the dead i tear that veil right now hear me where your physical father cost you i stand by priesthood to bless you anyone by your physical descent who said it will not be well with you i stand by the privilege of the apostolic call i reverse that statement 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 anyone who said it will not be well with you in the name of jesus by the privilege of the apostolic and the prophetic i veto that statement and i cancel it that these egyptians you see today you will see them no more forever 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 in the name of jesus the bible says when the lord turned again the captivity of zion it says we were like them that dream in the name of jesus for someone you will have to pinch yourself and say am i dreaming what is this that is happening to me open door meeting and open door favor meeting favor grace upon grace help upon help in the name of jesus christ it descend upon that family now descend upon that family now descend upon that family now bring them out descend upon that family now in the name of jesus descend upon that family now my god in the name of jesus he has broken the gates of brass and cut the bars of iron in sunder tied by witchcraft tied by ancestry tied by bloodline in the name that is above all names i say it again be delivered now be delivered now be delivered now you and your family be delivered now every force that keeps you down goes down for your sake every force attempting to keep you down goes down for your sake in the name of jesus i prophesy over your life go forward go forward make progress go forward make progress i say it again go forward make progress shame and reproach is far from your life stagnation is far from your life let it be clear that the hand of god is upon you let it be clear that the wisdom of god is upon you let it be clear that the favor of god is upon you let it be clear that you have become beulah and hepzibah in the name of jesus men will look at your life and they will learn god they will look at your life and they will desire to know him they will look at your life and turn away from evil they will look at your life and press for righteousness they will look at your life and love the things of god in the name of jesus i'm praying for you the era of foolish decisions trouble making decisions destiny pegging decisions by this impartation of wisdom may you begin to make superior decisions superior decisions decisions one decision that you will make you will leap five years forward five years forward five years forward in the name of jesus christ everything that fights your influence fights your relevance by this grace it dies here tonight hear me every man of god connected to this grace every true son and daughter in ministry i pray for you for the sake of his majesty rise to a global scale may the nations demand your grace may they honor jesus in your life i will multiply them they will not be few i will glorify them they will not be small i say it again be multiplied 
may you experience the glory of God the gift of men please everybody receive this one the gift of men so that you don't struggle for nothing there has to be a helper somewhere ordained by God anywhere at all where there is a need I tell you there is a helper I pray from today you will not struggle to find helpers you will not struggle to find helpers help us in ministry help us in business help us in your family you will never be alone to struggle alone again in the name of Jesus may someone be interested in your matter may someone be interested in your rising may someone be interested in your shining may someone be interested in your restoration in the name of Jesus go forward go forward go forward go forward advance leap over walls run through a troop in the name of Jesus Christ everybody speaking evil in the ears of your helper that before you get to your helper a wrong word has already reached before you before you get there people who would have helped you and lifted you because someone sent by hell said something to them I pray for you every counsel of Ahitophel by the power of prophecy it dies right now it dies right now over your life your business your family it dies right now in the name of Jesus Christ the spirit of smallness that never allows you to expand experiencing the faithfulness of God I decree and declare may your hands be open for more may your mind be open for more may your relationships be open for more I say it again may your hand symbolizing your productivity be open for more may your mind be open for more may your relationships expand for more anyone waiting for your downfall will spend their lifetime waiting because as for you the Lord is your glory and is the lifter up of your head in the name of Jesus Christ the kind of help that is needed for you to go forward I'm speaking to a businessman I'm speaking to someone in ministry the kind of help that only God can bring to men honestly I prophesy to you here on this altar beginning from now and the next 90 days if you have the faith to believe write it down and believe begin to enjoy tremendous supplies tremendous supplies I prophesy to you tremendous supplies I place prophetic words upon your head let helpers arise let financiers arise let favor conduits arise in the name of Jesus Christ I forbid you from begging and borrowing finances will not limit your becoming finances will not limit your rising finances will not limit your driving you will lay up gold as dust in the name of Jesus Christ every closed door over your destiny by the power that raised Christ from the dead that door is open now let help rest upon you now let that grace that can cause a man to be helped marvelously helped of God let it rest upon you now help in ministry receive it help in your finances receive it help in business receive it in the name of Jesus Christ and Uzziah prospered because he was marvelously helped of God helped in ministry helped in worship helped as a businessman helped as a parent some of you are in the uk and it is clear you are alone there is no supernatural assistance around your life you wake up early in the morning and you sleep late at night only to eat the bread of sorrow welcome to your season of strange help in the name of jesus i say to you welcome to your season of strange help help by god help by god that you are an ordinary man but may you experience the help of god in the name of jesus christ
in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ the Lord is asking me to avert the spirit of death if this is all we do tonight I still consider it a great meeting someone's destiny needs to experience revival in its entirety the spirit of death I don't know who I'm speaking to you see death traces men like a shadow the same way you move and then you see a shadow following you and there are many people who are right now in the valley of the shadow of death when you see a shadow it means the object is nearby the shadow of death anyone here appointed unto death that by the schemings of hell you should not see the end of 2024 i stand by the voice of prophecy and in the name of jesus i decree and declare you shall not die you shall not die you shall not die you apareketa parutas help them please you shall not die you shall not die in the name of jesus every covenant with the grave every covenant with hades every covenant with the spirit of death we abolish it once and for all in the name of jesus christ hallelujah there are people who are alive but they are bound in chains when he said lazarus come forth the bible says in john 11 that lazarus came forth but the man was bound in grave clothes even though he was alive he was still wearing the garment of death the garment of death can come as the garment of failure everything that cannot give you the liberty to find expression as the living is called the garment of death it's one thing for the dead to come back to life but it's another thing for he who is alive to be loosed and to be let go jesus said to come back from the life from from death was not enough he said lose him lose him lose him can mean give him a job that gives him a decent life lose him can mean let opportunities be scheduled everything that makes that you enjoy the life of god to its fullest let me speak to someone as one sent by god i decree and declare every chain that has held you down held your finances down held your destiny down i speak to you you are loose now you are loose now you are loose now in the name of jesus christ i'm still praying the lord is speaking to me and he's saying remove the mark of disfavor there are many physically there is nothing wrong with you but in the realm of the spirit there is a mark of disfavor around you that even when you go where you should be blessed it looks like you are despised i don't know who i'm praying for but fire is coming on someone now in the name of apakatos katapata every mark of disfavor at the count of three that mark must let you go now one two three let it go let it go let it go be removed from your life be removed from your destiny be removed from your life be removed from your destiny in the mighty name of jesus career disfavor marital disfavor financial disfavor be removed from your life hallelujah you see let me tell you the truth look up please this favor is a very terrible thing when a man does not carry the favor of god in his life you're not going to be able to make progress the number one reason why people succeed in life is because of the presence of the favor of God. Favor with God and favor with men. I still want to pray that prayer. Don't be tired. Because this will explain the tragedy behind many of your lives. There are many people, it should not be so. No! 
your life can be indefinitely tied down nobody thinking about you to help you nobody calling for your help i say it again what is sitting on your destiny that will not allow favor reach you by the power of the holy ghost i clear it out of your life right now i clear it out of your life right now i clear it out of your destiny right now I'm hearing in my spirit, remove names from covens in the name of Jesus. This one I'm going to pray for you. I'm going to ask you to shout Jesus. Any name of anyone here or any family that has been written in any satanic coven, right now as you shout that name, let fire burn everything right now. One, two, three, shout Jesus. Let it be burnt now. Let it be burnt now. Every ordinance, every ill speaking, every ordinance, be broken, be broken, blotting out every handwriting, be broken in the name of Jesus. Limitations that came from your biological father, biological mother, or your physical territory i stand by the honor and the privilege of the apostolic and the prophetic i break you from it now help them please i break you from it now i break you from it now i break you from it now Every spirit that makes easy things difficult. You saw this with your father. You saw this with your mother. You saw this with your siblings. Sincerely, you have not been able to break through. In the name of Jesus, I come by the rod of the higher priesthood. And I declare in the name of Jesus, I push you to the next season of destiny. Help that man, please. In the name of Jesus Christ. Rest upon your business. Rest upon your ministry. Rest upon your family. Rest upon your children. Rest upon your spouse. Rest upon the works of your hands. In the name of Jesus. I speak over your life. No going down. I say it again. No going down. The power that fights your remaining goes down for your sake. The power that fights your reputation goes down for your sake. The power that fights your testimony goes down for your sake. It will be good news all the days of your life. From one stride after another, one result to another, you will never plateau in life. You will never plateau in destiny. In your finances, go forward. In your relationships, go forward. Your prayer life, go forward. Fasting, go forward. Your word study, go forward. In character, go forward. In the name of Jesus. Extraordinary wisdom, let it rest upon you. The power of the Holy Ghost, causing you to walk in extraordinary dimensions, let it rest upon you. Hear me wealth by your value and wealth by favor through relationships this double sworded this this two-edged sword of wealth by relationships and by value let it gravitate towards you men will arise to help you arise to help your children you hear me every spirit assigned to cut short your life i decree and declare both the human and spirit agents, they go down for your sake. Where you have not reached, may your products reach there. In the name of Jesus Christ.
Hallelujah. Listen to me. I learned from Dr. Miles Munro that influence is a very great key in commanding kingdom advance. I have taught you what is influence. The ability to make men buy into your ideologies, your beliefs, without using force or cruelty. Can I tell you, if you lack this grace for influence, it doesn't matter how right you are, nobody will listen to you. Hallelujah. You don't have to manipulate people to believe you. You don't have to manipulate people to hear you. You don't have to manipulate people and say, don't listen to this one, listen to it. No, no, you don't have to. When that grace is on you, that grace can cause men to listen to you. I'm praying for you in the name of Jesus. Like you have never seen, you will command the loyalty of kings. You will command the loyalty of nobles. You will command the loyalty of both great and small, male and female, in the name of Jesus. Every negative cloud over your head that is driving good things, driving good people, making you see good as evil and evil as good, I decree and declare, let that cloud be lifted from off your head. Every demonic force manipulating your reasoning, always making you to get into trouble, making bad decisions. I cry unto God again in the name of Jesus. May your mind be under the influence of the Spirit of God. Superior destiny advancing decisions. Ministry advancing decisions. Finance multiplying decisions. Grace multiplying decisions. Whatever has made it difficult for you to meet your helper, by prophecy I shorten the distance between you and your helper. By prophecy I shorten the distance between you and your helper. I shorten the distance between you and your helper. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare everyone who forgot you, may they remember you tonight. Not tomorrow, may they remember you tonight. May they remember you for good. May they remember you for kindness. May they remember you for promotion. May they remember you for lifting. May they remember you for help. May they be instruments of restoration. In the name of Jesus. Anybody that plans evil for you, in the name of Jesus, what happened to Haman will happen to them. I say it again. Digging a pit for you to fall. May they fall into that same pit. Fall into that same pit. Fall into that same pit. Not to a hearer. That if you found your way to this place. Or you are connected in the name of Jesus. You must carry a potent testimony tonight. Back home. You must carry a potent testimony tonight. Back home. In the name of Jesus. Testimonies are real. Testimonies are real. They are manifestations of the hand of God, the visitations of God by his word, through his spirit in the life of his people. Are you ready for a change of story? You are going to cry. I will list out the prayer points and you will pray. It's part of the miracle service. You hear the word of the Lord. Every pain, every pain, let it be gone now. Every pain. Pain around your chest. Pain around your, your back for someone. The lumbar area. Let that pain be gone now. Pain around the limbs. Be healed now. For someone, you have severe pain. I'm seeing someone pain around your right ear. Be healed right now. Amen. Your hands, severe pain. This has happened now for days for someone. Be healed right now. Amen. Shout a believing amen. amen. There's someone you have a very severe pain around your rib area. I'm not sure if you've gone to the hospital for tests, but in the name of Jesus, 
the Lord is bringing you healing right now. Bringing you healing right now. Now every pain, whether I mentioned it or not, I decree and declare be healed now. I'm hearing the name Christova. Who is Christova? I'm hearing a name Christova. Christova. I'm going to minister deliverance right now. Christova. Is there someone with such a name? Christova. God wants to set you free. Christova. Who is Martha? Martha. M-A-R-T-H. Martha. Who is Christova? please don't come out at random if it's not your if don't feel bad if it's not don't worry everybody will receive hallelujah Christova. bring for me the gentleman that shouts now under the anointing loud please pick him and bring him to the front a gentleman not a lady Your name is Christopher. What do you do? I'm a student. I'm a student. Huh? Come again. NDLEA, sir. NDLEA. NDLEA. Yes. I'm going to pray for you, Christopher. Yes. The Lord wants to do a miracle in the life of Christopher. The power of God is coming on one of you right now. I just saw light, the ladies. One of you, the anointing of the Spirit is coming upon you. Martha, I'm hearing the name Martha. I cause that oppression of darkness. Let her go now. Christopher, I pray for you in the name that is above all names. Let the spirit of death over the family of Christova in the name that is above all names whatever is programming an obituary over the family of Christova it dies now in the name of Jesus dies now in the name of Jesus is there anyone with the name Maimuna that should be a house in northern name I'm hearing Maimuna I want to pray for you if you find such a person we have to be very fast. Christopher, you, the spirit of death over the family of Christopher, I come against it right now. I declare you will live and not die. You will live and not die. You will live and not die. In the name of Jesus Christ. I don't know, I presume there might be a number of people, but there's a gentleman here, they call you Junior. Junior, what's your name? Junior. They call you Junior. Junior. Yes, yes. Look at me. Where are you from? Benway State. Benway State. I need to pray for you because I'm seeing your leg swelling and I'm wondering what is swelling this leg. Don't be afraid. I'm not a prophet of doom. Stand up, my friend. Junior. They call you Junior. Father, in the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands over this gentleman. The Bible says the rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous. As I'm praying for him, I'm praying for you. Anybody that plans evil for you, in the name of Jesus, what happened to Haman will happen to them. I say it again, digging a pit for you to fall. May they fall into that same pit. Fall into that same pit. Who am I prophesying to? In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare, I call upon he who has the key of David, the one who opens a door that no man can shut and shuts a door. Every door that has been closed over your career, over your life, over your destiny, I declare a father be open. 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 Be open. Be open. Doors of strategic relationships. Be open. Doors of strategic finances. Be open. The treasures of darkness. The hidden riches of secret places. Be open. Doors of career. Be open. 
doors of destiny help us be open in the name of Jesus someone shout open shout open shout open shout open listen to me please don't be distracted something is happening in this place look at me every city you see has gates in the spirit and doors in the spirit just because you are there does not mean the gates are open now you see if you grew up in the north or you have had encounters with the north you will know that when you are entering most of the northern states you will see like city gates am i right on that sometimes there are no doors until you pass that most of the people believe that you have not entered that city you will see maybe welcome to Kano or welcome to whatever those gates it was an ancient principle there are many people who are in abuja here but in the spirit you are not yet in abuja so you cannot eat of that which belongs to those who are here are you ready for gates to open and doors to open Listen, I have seen territories where the inhabitants never eat of the blessings of the land. It is only strangers that eat of it. I have seen families where the children never eat of the blessings of the land. It is strangers that eat of it. We are going to pray that prayer. There's an anointing on these open doors. Open. God has opened some doors in my life as a person and as a man of God and I know the benefit. Ten years can be compressed in one month under an open door. I am telling you. Are you ready to pray? Say Father. Shout it. Say Father. In the name of Jesus. Strategic doors in this season that I must enter. I declare them open now. Open your mouth and begin to pray. I declare them open. Everyone pray. Be serious. Online pray. US pray. Canada pray. Kenya pray. South Africa pray. Ghana pray. Lagos pray. Every door. Strategic doors. Relational doors. May it bring you profiting. May it bring you profiting. What you have been looking for, I command it to start looking for you. Ah, 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 hear this one. What you have been looking for, may it start looking for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every confusion in your life, may the spirit of grace bring clarity to your life now. Everyone who is discouraged and downcast, you are wondering what will become of your life. I want to speak to you. In the name of Jesus, you will have the last laugh in this life. Anyone under the sound of my voice appointed unto death, I declare may death pass over you. May death pass over you. You are blessed in the city. You are blessed in the country. You are blessed in Abuja. Blessed in Lagos. Blessed in America. Blessed in UK. All over Europe. All over Africa. Return as a sign and a wonder. Return as a testament of God's favor. In the name of Jesus. Now let me speak over your spiritual life. Everything attacking your prayer life. Attacking your word study life. Attacking your zeal and your passion for spiritual things. It dies permanently right now. May your prayer life be fanned back to flames. May your word study life be fanned back to flames. May your passion for the house of God be fanned back to flames. May your appetite for spiritual things be fanned back to flames. In the name of Jesus Christ. Listen, I call you Beulah and Hephzibah. Beulah and Hephzibah. You are like a well-watered garden. I call you a wealthy place. An oasis springing possibilities. In the name of Jesus. You will not beg and you will not borrow, yet you will not lack, in the name of Jesus. I am confident that the sermons you've encountered have been a source of blessings, elevating your life and inspiring a heartfelt commitment to serving God wholeheartedly.
we warmly invite you to subscribe to our YouTube channel, ensuring you stay connected and never miss any of our upcoming videos by activating the notification bell. Your subscription represents more than just a click. It signifies a commitment to continuous spiritual growth, enlightenment, and empowerment. Embark on this faith-filled journey with us as our channel aims to be a sanctuary for both spiritual seekers and believers alike. We firmly believe in the transformative power of God's Word, and our goal is to share messages that deeply resonate with your soul. Join our community, subscribe, and let the radiant light of divine wisdom illuminate your path. Thank you for being an integral part of this uplifting journey, and may God's abundant blessings overflow in your life. Amen. You can follow us on all our social media handles at Flaming Channel, and visit our website at www.flamingchannel.com. Thank you, and may God bless you abundantly.